that another group's been hunting that. Oh, there's a lot of infighting in between the groups. You know, this is our cemetery. Don't come around here. This is our contact. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. I mean, we get that all the time with other groups, you know. They don't want to work together. They don't want to help out, you know, another group, but they'll help out somebody else, you know. So, I mean, it's kind of hypocritical on oh, him, you know. Oh, no, he's not going to come here. He's just, no, I'll just watch you from We're one here. of the few groups that, you know, we'll help anybody out. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what group it is. If we got a haunted location, we'll tell you where it's at. We'll take you out there and show it to you. You know, our group is one of the best ones I've ever found, you know, mm -hmm. nationwide. I know. I, I, kinda like that, that was kind of like the final straw, too. I, I was, I was re, you know, I, I just <laughs> looked through something. And I, I go, I was thinking, now, wait a minute. They were, you know, they're out in cemeteries looking for what? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here knowing what I'm knowing. Mm -hmm. In the name of God, that's not right. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know... I mean, you know, you know, that's just God just telling you, um, you know, what does that tell you? <laughs> you know, what it, you know, you know, so obviously, you know, um, oh, he's going to watch you. He's going to come up on the perch and be like, I'm keeping my eye on Kurt. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? He's like looking at you like, I hate you. <laughs> so, that's what he's thinking. I hate you. <laughs> so, right, right. Because right. he does not like cats at all. <laughs> so, I don't mind them. I tolerate yours. Because <laughs> kiss mine can kick your butt. <laughs> okay. Eh, no, I'm keeping, I'll keep an eye on that one. <laughs> that's uh, Misha. Oh. Misha. She's very pretty. Yeah, she was a... Um... <laughs> Look at me, I'll be the king of the world. <laughs> so. uh, that's Russian for um, a gift from God. Oh, cool. And she's staring at you. <laughs> I'm going to go smoke a cigarette real quick. Hey. Oh. Look at her. No, that's right, you better leave. <laughs> so. Hi, Misha. Yeah, he's gone now. <laughs> I love you. Hi, Misha. Yeah, you keep your eye on him. You better. <laughs> he's, he's scary. Look at him. He's watching him leave. <laughs> like, you better leave, punk. <laughs> That's it. I will have all kinds of cat attack on you. Oh, I'm good now. He left. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Heard it left when you uh, left the room. <laughs> so I think we can definitely get try to get some yeah, get some people out here to just come at least when they can until he gets here and hopefully he'll be able to do something for you. That's just it's kind of my responsibility to locate and figure out with other cases. My job is to locate, find out what what we're dealing with. Are we dealing with the poltergeist, and then ascertain from there what's the best way to handle it. So I kind of, I wasn't able to come last time, but um, that's kind of what we do. You're dealing with violence. Yeah, and that, a lot of times I do deal with violence. And uh, a lot of times I do deal with, um, like I had a case of a poltergeist who we uh, call it midnight, I think. And I have to answer the phone. And um, the lady was sitting in her couch. She was alone, no animals in the house. And she was sitting on her couch and um, her mug rack flew across her kitchen counter and smashed on the floor by itself and we ascertained that she had a poltergeist um so that's you know and sometimes they are and there are still some that have, are protecting you know we dealt with a case of a it was a mother and um, they knew they had something in the house she'd actually seen her she'd seen her tucking it the um the, the lady that we were dealing with had a son and she walked into her daughter's bedroom and there was a lady standing there tucking her son into bed and disappeared when they saw each other. And uh, so her, her son was in the hospital and the, the hospital staff said he's sleeping, go ahead, go home for a couple of hours, get some sleep. And she, um, she woke up and she, had, she put her clothes in the bathroom or something and fell asleep in the, in the couch and she woke up and her clothes were actually hanging in front of her on a hanger. Closer. She left in the bathroom, hanging in front of her, and she heard something say, wake up, you have to go. 
and she woke up and she drove to the hospital and it turned out that her son was fretting. He was having a really bad asthma attack and he wouldn't calm down and he would only calm down for her. And because he woke up and his mother wasn't there. And it, he was so scared because um, the hospital was trying to calm him down and he just... Where did the hospital call him? Um, I think it had just started. I think that maybe, maybe she was even woke up before it started. Maybe the spirit woke her up. But I think that right when she got there, it had just literally had just started, and they were trying to get him to calm down. And uh, so she was woke up and, and told to go to the hospital. And um, so we've had cases where they're also protecting too. And they're obviously not demonic ones. I think that was. I think there are also cases where people have angels. I think there's some that do, for whatever reason, they have an angel. And we all have angels, but. Not maybe our own angel, but but I, I think some people just, God's like, yeah, I better especially protect that one. That one's a little crazy, <laughs> so, so um, you know, and I think some people do. They just have these angels that show up, and, mm-hmm. and you know, and the Bible talks about how there's angels among us. Yeah. And how angels, so, you know, and, you know, and I don't think angels are... I, mean, I don't know what kind of powers they have. It doesn't talk a whole lot about who and what they do, but I don't think they're baby cherubs running around with wings. I think they're powerful warriors. Right. And I think Michael, I mean, he he was a butt-kicking angel. <laughs> so, so I think some people just, they get scared, and I think it's just their angel. We don't tell them that in case it's not, but I think sometimes I'm like, it's just their angel. We don't, we don't say that to people because we don't want them to, in case it does turn out to be something else. Yeah, I've never, <laughs> I've, I would never mm-hmm. comprehend something being, I mean, I, you know, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't believe in seeing anything. Right. Yeah. Well, but the Bible talks about seeing angels. Mary saw her angel. And yeah. You know, Joseph saw an angel. Right. Um, Michael appeared to uh, Isaiah, or I think it was Isaiah, and said, you know, it took me three weeks to get here because of the war. But, you know, so they do send, I don't think that they ever come, you know, and I think they more come to do something. I don't think they just appear to be like, look, I'm an angel. You know, (laughs) Right. I think most of the time if they appear, you better listen because they're either they're sending a message or they've got something to do. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I've never, you know, I mean, um, you know. You know, I had, uh, you know, I've, I've had, you know, the vision, um, you know, like, you know, God, mm-hmm. you know, you know um, Father God, you know, white hair and stuff like that, you know. I mean, I mean you know, like this, not mm-hmm. like, 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 um, you know, uh, I, but no, I don't want to see, you know. but it, yes, I, I do believe in, you know, you know, guardian angels and what you're speaking of, you know, mm-hmm. like that, right? I just, there are presences that are that are good and protecting. Um, this one obviously is not of that kind, but you know, but it's not everything we deal with is malicious. Sometimes, occasionally you run into one that's more protecting, or um, or the scary girl clowns or what the hell that was about. And uh, occasionally we do we run into good things. We run into protective spirits or things that aren't meant to cause harm. They might be scaring people, not purposely. They may not know they're scaring people, but they're not there to cause harm in some cases. They're there to protect, or they're just there. They're not trying to hurt anyone, they're just there. Now, a lot of times, I think maybe Brenda has one in her house, it's mm-hmm. just there. It's not trying to hurt anybody. She thinks it's a little girl it's and it girl. just hangs around. Hangs around. Not hurting anybody, not trying mm-hmm. to scare anybody. Brenda's just like, you know, if you ever want to come out and play, just let me know. And occasionally you'll look up the stairs and you'll see her run. You know, (laughs) so she's not hurt anyone. She's not there. She's never tried to scare Brenda. I think she's startled her a few times, but Brenda knows her now, so. And there are people who live um, pretty peacefully with their ghosts. Mm-hmm. Not me. So, no, not you. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's <laughs> not my belief system. Ghost, I don't think this not is my belief ghost. system whatsoever. I mean, we're going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you should be going. No, I, I, no, I, I, see, I can't ca- comprehend that belief system. Mm-hmm. I, I, 
can't comprehend it. Right. Yeah. Um, do we want to work on a schedule? Sure. I can get a hold of some people tonight. I'll send some emails out. See if we can get some people to come over tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, what's your schedule like tomorrow? I got class at 7. I can probably come over again tomorrow around 4 or 5 o'clock again. Okay. Yeah. Do something like that for you. I, I, you know, I've seen like, um, you guys have meetings and stuff, so you mm -hmm. meet with other groups. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's no other individual.